Okay, in this video, we are going to discuss about the basics of release management. So what are the basics? So releases typically fall into one of these three categories. It can be a patch, it can be a minor release, or it can also be a major release. So let's talk about these three. What is a patch? It can be bug fixes, simple changes, simple changes include reports, dashboards, list views, email templates, that can be a patch. A minor change are changes that are limited and have a limited impact, such as new workflow rule or trigger impacting a single business process. These releases typically require testing but only limited training and change management. Typically, a team delivers the changes for a minor release within a few weeks. Now, what about the major one, the major release? Major release is changes with significant impact, including changes with one or more dependencies. Because these releases can greatly affect the user experience and data quality, they require thorough testing, training, and careful change management. Major releases are typically delivered once a quarter, like what Salesforce does, right? There is a winter release, and then there is a spring release, fall release, and then summer release, right? So release as the one who is releasing updates and changes, we have to release these changes on a consistent schedule. So people would be expecting these changes, you know, not suddenly something changed unexpectedly that would throw people off what they are doing. So let's not do that. So you have to schedule consistency for your releases. So people would expect, oh, every beginning of the month, there is this minor release that the admin or you as the developer are implementing. Every quarter, usually there is major release and you have a section where people or your staff members can check what's the major release, what changes for this quarter, and so on. So we can track a set of changes all the way to production. So this is what the ELM are for. Okay, the application lifecycle um, management steps. So in a change of development, the team's release artifact is a set of metadata changes like a diff or a delta relative to what's in the production org. So what was changed? Everybody has to know what was changed, what's, what's, what's being added or what's being removed. So you, you have to be able to track those so you can manage things easily. Okay, here, you can read that through. So. That's basically it. So this is pretty straightforward. This will help us manage changes, updates, patches, and track them in an efficient way so you know what's going on. And people who are working and using your apps, your custom modules would know when changes usually happen. Okay. So let's do the quiz now. What is a change set? A build of all the metadata change or unchanged? No, that's wrong. A step that commits changes to the target or just before deployment? No. A build of metadata changes, possibly unrelated, yeah, to be deployed at the same time. Metadata changes. This is wrong. How does tracking metadata changes in a release help you avoid problems when you migrate the release change set 
to a new environment. Some metadata components might not yet be available in metadata API, so they have to be migrated manually. Well, that's right. Design specifications, no. Nope. Nope, I think um, this one. Okay, I'll see you on the next section. Boom. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.